Hi Komal, now this is your doubt. In fact, this is one doubt that uh, students have asked me so many times because I see his answers are wrong. So this is all about your relevant costing. Okay, I'll show that particular question first. So this was a question that is there. Now ensure that for material uh, D, everybody has the same numbers that I have over here. In case they are not, you all can change them please. Okay. Now answer of this question in IC is printed wrong. I have confirmed that to many of the students and some students wrote to the institute also. They all say sorry for it, but that's okay. Now uh, this question is all about what? We all have got some offer. For that we require material D over here. Now material D, how many units we require? 500 and you already have 500 units in stock. Book value like always is irrelevant. That's of no use. Okay, but what is of use is over here. Now, in case you go to purchase it from the market, that will be costing you rupees 15. That's the replacement cost. Okay. And uh, in case you sell it off today, then you will be getting 12 rupees for it. And what is given to you over here? This line is important. Material D can be used as a substitute for 700 units of material Z, which currently costs rupees 11 per unit. So, if material D was not used over here, then in that case, it could be used at another place. But 500 units over here could be used as a substitute for 700 units of material Z. The company does not have any inventory of material Z currently. Okay, so for Z, we do not have stock. So how do we answer such kind of uh, questions? We always try to be thinking like this, what? If offer would not have come, then for material D, you have two options. Which two options? Either sell in the market. In case you're going to be selling, then 500 units, you will be able to sell in the market. At what rate are 12? That is nothing but the resale value, right? So therefore, you will be getting 6,000. But in case you don't want to be doing that, you have one other option also. Use it as a substitute. Use it as a substitute. In case you're going to be using it as a substitute, you're going to be saving something. Use it as a substitute for material Z. Then don't purchase material Z from the market. How much will you save at that time? So therefore, 700 units, it will become a substitute for 700 units at the rate of 11. So therefore, in this case, uh, 700 into 11 will make it 7700 out of this and this option obviously we are going to be doing whatever is better for us better for us is 7700 so therefore higher of the two will always be winning so therefore if offer would not have come we would have used material d in place of material z and then we would have saved 7700 but now if offer has come you have two options what is the first option use material d for this special offer only that you have got then in that case you'll have to purchase material z so therefore this will start to become your cost this is one option other option is in this case you directly purchase uh, d from the market if you're going to be purchasing d from the market you're going to be purchasing 500 units at the rate of 15 so therefore 500 units into 15 will be 7500 out of cost and out of cost, we would like to incur whatever is a lower cost. So therefore, in this particular case, my final answer over here will become 7,500. ICA has printed 7,700, but ICA is fully wrong in this. Okay. Now, one other thing also, uh, just for the sake, so therefore your concepts all are okay. Why 6,000 rupees irrelevant? Because if offer would not have come, I would not have sold D. Even if offer has come, I'm not still selling DR. So therefore, this is irrelevant. Sir, why is 7,700 irrelevant? Because if offer would not have come, you all had decided. Sir, I will be using it as a substitute in place of material Z. You were supposed to be saving 7,700. Now, even if offer has come, for this offer, you're going to be purchasing D from the market. Okay. That means in this case, that current D that you have, you will still use it in place of Z. So therefore, that 7,700 will still get saved. So therefore, 6,000 you were never supposed to be earning, you will never earn irrelevant. 7,700, in any case, you were saving before, now also you will be saving. But 7,500 you never had to incur before, but now you will definitely incur. So therefore, that will become relevant cost. Hope Komal, your doubt is answered. And I say is wrong. Okay, so that is all fine. Sometimes those guys go wrong. Okay, bye. Take care.